Hello and welcome to All Talks with Cafe Mutual. I'm Ridhima Patnagar. Today we have here with us Raghav Ayengar, who is the CEO of 361 Asset. Hello, sir. Ridhima. Pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. Yeah. So, Raghav, I want to start by asking you that uh, category one and two, when we see private equity funds and venture capital funds, they give us uh, uh, returns up to eighteen to twenty percent, whereas some equity funds give us more returns. So, why do you think the investors should look at this category? It's a nice question, Nidima. But uh, I think again, you're comparing apples and oranges, yeah. right? It's like uh, saying comparing. If you remember in the good old days, we used to compare equity and debt. and say equity gives double digit return debt gives single digit return they are by different vehicles of course underlying is the same that you are going and putting money into a venture capital it's an unlisted equity so in that sense yes there is a higher level of risk but they are very different instruments i mean unlisted e- like cat to afs which invest in say private equity they are really discovery companies you catch them at a very very young stage of your of their growth uh, you catch them at a at a really at a very very initial start of their uh of their company journey and then you grow along with them and then eventually these companies do come to capital markets to raise money when they want to really big expand you know classic case in point is zomato for example so it's all part of the same equity journey it depends on which part of the journey the investor is comfortable coming in now returns in equity are not linear yes i mean so this 18 20 24 which you're talking about is today's number but you know there have been many periods in our industry in our in our cycle where equity has done nothing so ideally my my advice or my recommendation or whatever you like to call it is something like you should get investors to put money in a basket of these securities uh there's no point in saying hey, equity is doing very well so we'll put all our money there that's sort of rare ended or rare view mirror wisdom i call it right rare view wisdom is not pro- appropriate so have a little bit of money in various asset classes give it to the right portfolio manager more importantly when you're looking at cat 2 cat 1 please look at the antecedents of the portfolio manager look at the process look at the people who are involved there look at the kind of you know pedigree that are with there look at the portfolio companies get a sense of what the portfolio manager is thinking before you put money in there so in that sense yes investing in a cat 1 cat 2 is a little more complicated but obviously the returns over a period of time should be okay and this this aberration of one equity funds doing well now with service that i think these even out over a period of time yeah uh so equity pms and cat 3 are similar to mutual funds uh then why do you think the investor should uh, look at this uh, for the diversification of the portfolio they are not exactly similar the portfolio see the uh, the mutual funds are extremely tightly regulated they are largely meant for the retail investor Cat 3 is obviously has a minimum ticket investment of one crore and above, right? So the things that you can do in a Cat 3, uh, the flexibility that a fund manager has is much much more edema compared to an ordinary mutual fund. Yeah. So again, like I said uh, before, so I would say if you were to use this, a Cat 3 AIF is a sort of a it's it's a bit of owning a luxury car which is a normal car, right? Uh, both drive on the same road in the sense that both invest in equity markets, but they have very very different objectives. so the ability to do much more in cat 3 the flexibility to the investment manager is much more in a cat 3 aif as compared to any other normal mutual fund there right nice start nice what are some of the popular categories in uh, uh, aif category 3 and pms as in categories as in as in now uh, what are the uh, what are the popular strategies uh, of category 3 and um, you know pms probably so i think it's very similar to in that sense mutual fund so there is obviously uh, cat 3 pmss or cat 3 aps which put money into small cap mid cap uh, we have two strategies in 361 uh, both are multi cap strategies but one focuses more on growth defensive secular companies one focuses on upcoming companies recovery based companies right so i think every every portfolio manager has a suite of such portfolios and now again it's very important for the partner and the customer to understand exactly what that portfolio is doing and then if it meets his or her risk profile to put money into that that's that's it who with so many strategies available for pms and aif how does a wealth manager shortlist these for the uh, clients it's very similar to the uh, mutual fund shortlist if you ask me today obviously one part of it is rare ended which is how is the returns been and there my only advice to people is that look at how the funds have done in a drawdown so when markets are going up as they've been in the last say year and odd 
it looks very easy to give the kind of returns that have been there i think the the tricky part is how has the portfolio been managed when markets have either come down or have been flat for a long period of time and then obviously you have to get into the process as to how the portfolio manager pick stocks do they have a very very clearly documented process now someone on like us at at 361 we run some very large global mandates it's very interesting ridima they are not the last thing that they are really worried about is the returns it is important obviously because everyone's investing for returns but they actually give us money a lot for our process and our people and i think those are things that the indian wealth management community is sort of ignoring a bit but we, maybe the focus needs to shift a little more from educating the customer about rather one year three year five year returns into how those returns came and then more importantly what happened to those funds when things didn't do very well right so that's that's uh, my two bits here <laughs> thank you raghav thank you for those insights that was all from today's session thank you